Greetings to the world from the Barry Strip Small Holding Homestead, Cornwall, UK. Hello, I'm Jason. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on our website, Patreon, social media. Please keep watching. Now, if you've seen previous videos, which I hope you have, you will know exactly where we are right now. We're right down the bottom where the bottom gate is, walking up. And it's kind of unusual. I've actually got the heat of the sun on the top of my head. But see how dark those clouds are. So it's kind of, um, okay, yeah, it's uh, sunny. Everything's wet underfoot because there has been rain. Um, and there's heat above because there's sunshine and there's dark clouds around the edges so that's uh, kind of uh, really interesting all to itself but if you look to that bit there's a bit of blue sky there and an onking great grey cloud there and that's exactly what the sky it's looking like right now. So that's an overall of what the sky is like all the way around me. So what is it like having a small holding homestead? Brilliant. From a raw point of view, my point of view, uh, to have freedom is very important to me personally to be able to be outside and tend to things and do what you want to do um, most of you will know that uh, we have uh, two sons and three daughters and most of them over the years have had their own pets and the reason for being that is to teach responsibility and I think when you have land and when you have livestock and when you have family all of those are responsibilities um, things that you need to take care of, um, be mindful of, but to have a homestead, yes it's called the Burrow Strip Small Holding Homestead, a small farm, a small holding, a homestead, all the above and dogs to be able to run around and that, uh, that your children uh, can chase each other. That's what down there is looking like at the moment. I'm just going to go up past these, trying to hold the camera higher. So this is Emerald. Here's some bathing. I think Emerald is about two years old. for definite but, uh, and the ducks are making that funny noise one of the chicken here are tapping away as it might be collecting bugs that are on the outside of the chicken coop As I go up, oh, the sun was quite warm there for the moment, 10% of the kids as we go up. So what is it like to have the Burry Strip small holding homestead specifically? Um, it isn't all 
fairies and it isn't always Cornish, not it isn't all Cornish pixies and fairies. And what I mean by that expression, and I, yes, I do pick up on Cornish pixies because obviously this is Cornwall. Um, I could use a different expression, but it isn't all Cornish pixies and fairies. Not everything goes well. Your literal blood, sweat and tears uh, put into something. But at the end of the day, is it worth it? Yes. Yes. It is um, so worth it. Um, to grow freedom. And I don't just mean plant some potatoes. I mean, oh, I'm growing freedom because I don't have to buy potatoes uh, from a supermarket. It's a little bit more than that. Um, to be totally self-sufficient. To be able to grow enough fruit and veg. Um, fruit, veg and flowers to sustain ourselves. This is totally off-grid. I don't often mention that a lot. This is totally off-grid. There's no electricity here. There's no mains water here. Um, it is totally off-grid. What you got, what you see is what you get. So all the way down there to the bottom gate, all the way up to the row top uh, where the caravans are, there is no external um, uh, facilities, there's no mains water, there's no mains gas, there's no electricity. So you have to um, uh, produce um, that yourself. You do kind of depend on um, solar panels, gas bottles, um, a petrol generator and different things like that. The water system for the animals is what I've just passed and previous videos explain that that behind this I would call the pony dome is a big bath when that's folded up the overflow goes through the blue pipe goes all the way down to a thousand litre water container there so when it rains that should be from the rain self-sustaining but when there isn't any rain um, we depend on others, uh, particularly the North Farm, which we are grateful for. And I've actually lost count how many times this year they've actually cleaned it out and totally filled it uh, with their well water, uh, which we're thankful for. But then it's everything else that you've got to be mindful of, um, sort of thing. If you suddenly don't have that, um, water and obviously everything else. You think, oh, how are we going to do this and how are we going to do that? This is done by seven people, not just one. It isn't just me. Yes, when I start my videos, uh, greetings to the world from the Borough at Small Holding Homestead, hello and Jason, but it isn't just the Jason show. It is the seven of us, myself, my wife, our two sons, three daughters, um, to keep this going. It just happened to be that my daughter said, Dad, you can do videos. Um, so in between uh, um, getting on with things, I um, do videos. And this is a little bit of a taster if you wanted to know the whole story. And all the ins and outs and everything. Um, once we have over 100 subscribers, to our YouTube channel, The Burrow Strip Small Holding Homestead, we are going to record and present a feature length full tour of the whole of the Burrow Strip along with its entire story from the day of actually first seeing this land, from what we did first, what we did next, what we did right what we did wrong, what we wish we did, what we wish we didn't, uh, and all those sort of things. So it is important that you enjoy the videos and please watch them. If you watch the videos, please subscribe to our channel. Ding on that notification bell that you can have the privilege, I mean the privilege, of watching our new videos and may I invite you to look at all our old videos 
uh, to get the entire story of the entire journey of a family of seven here in the countryside of Cornwall, UK, which um, I would argue, as a born and raised Cornishman, is the most beautiful place in the world. To have a piece of this is like gold. It's worth totally its weight in gold. And I'm so thankful for everything and everybody that has allowed this to be possible, that have helped us along the way, that have given us um, good advice and have just been there for us. And thank you to you because you're listening to me right now and you're watching this right now. And that's important. And may I invite you, yes you, to come and subscribe to our channel and be one of the buried ones. Have your status in life. I like to be able to say we've got a hundred subscribers that we can give you the full feature length tour of the Burry Strip Small Holding Homestead right here and now. As um, soon as we have, we will really work on that. It may not just be my voice, it may be a combination of seven voices of the seven of us thank you to the very ones for subscribing to our channel this is the Burry Strip small holding homestead Cornwall UK I'm Jason thank you for having me